um, difficult for us at the moment to get a pattern of play and get into the game. Italy dictating the game at the moment. We just need to maybe try to get our midfielders on the ball, but they are getting plenty of bodies in there to overload against us, and that might be the way for Ida to chase ball. here. Adam Ida is onto it. Breaks to Malumbi. Oh, and the ball to uh, Parrott just behind him. Here is Troy Parrott. Gets a shot away and forces a save from the keeper, Karnasecki. That's better for Ireland. If he got an injury there in the middle of the box, but like you say, just a long ball this time from Keller straight down the middle of the pitch. We haven't been able to outplay him, but that might be the way in for us. Oida's quick, does really well, muscles the centre half out, but comes back to him and great little ball in trying to play in behind from Alumbi that time. Parrot just trying to get it onto his right foot, gets a shot and goal, keeper gets down and collects it at the second attempt. But worrying scenes for Italy here, defender I think down injured and making a change. Uh, physios signal that they want to take him off. Back to Coventry. Malumbi is on it once more. Ida is back to goal. Good strength there from Adam Ida. Conor Rona with the shot. Oh, good save by the keeper. Parrott can't finish the rebound, but that's good from Ireland again. Great strike. Yes, yeah, good play. Better play from Ida. It's one of the only times we've been able to get the ball into his feet. Here you see it. Good, strong centre forward play. Head up straight away. Points Conor Rona. Good strike. Good save from the goalkeeper. Nobody there to. Ronan, El Buzetti. He's got pace, El Buzetti. He's managed to get the cross into Ida as well. Back to goal. Shot from Parrot is just wide. Good build up play from Ireland. And the goalkeeper was scampering across his line there. Yeah, it was good initial play as well from Ida from the long ball. Keller held up the play, but down this right hand side, El Buzetti fancies himself pace wise against the full back and pulls a brilliant ball back in again great first touch from Oida awareness that Parrott's on his shoulder rolls it back to him with a back heel and he's very unlucky here we see it brilliant awareness from Oida knows where Parrott is just trying to bend it in but it's right Derby County here he is early touch for him here is uh, Knight again clever ball inside to Malumbi now Scales it's a good strike by Scales the goalkeeper couldn't hold it the first time doesn't score too many goals, Liam Scales. I know he uh, did score one, I think. Yeah, uh, it's a good play down the right-hand side, wasn't it, Conde? Worked it well there, a great fee from Malumbi as well, and just rolls into the path, Scales on his left foot, strikes it really well. Scored one goal against Sligo Rovers in the league for uh, UCD this season. Oh, and Kane has uh, pushed out there. And the Irish fan screaming for a red card, the referee trying to keep a lid on things. King could find himself in real trouble here. Yeah, we've had a few of these skirmishes, haven't we, in the game so far? And again, a bit of handbags from me more than anything. But the referee is right hands. back. Mm. Mind you, if the referee was going to be consistent, he would have uh, perhaps uh, sent off Ronan in the first half. So we're going to see a yellow card here, at least for King. He was uh, sent off for the uh, Italian under-17 side once in a match against the Netherlands. Moise Keane. Looks like could he could be going red right here. Yeah. So he's off again. Yeah, and we have a Troy Parrott sent off as well. Troy Parrott has been sent off. Yeah, second yellow card. I don't know what happened at the end, whether it was Parrott came and got involved, was the next player and got involved after the initial pushing and shoving but he sent Troy Parrott off second yellow card booked early in the first half remember and um, here we'll see here's the incident Kane it's good play Coventry gets tight and he just scuffles gets him pushing him to the ground it's Troy Parrott that's involved in the initial one so he's judged that both of them are very very similar it's a straight red for for the for, for Kane but second yellow card for Troy Parrott and 10 against 10 he was uh, amongst the goals for the Italians in that 5-0 win against Luxembourg, but uh, Malumbi to take this one. Mm, towards the back post. Shot is uh, on target, forcing the save out of Karnasecki. Malumbi with the strike, oh, what a save! Karnasecki with a tremendous save, he really hit that a right wallop, Jason Malumbi.
There's a good strike, just a little roll from Coventry, his partner in there, straight at him in fairness, he's on that side of the, the goal, you'd expect him to say that, gets it up and over the bar, but good strike from Malumbi. Matches for this Irish team, which is very solid. Especially, as you said, uh, way to Sweden and home to the top seeds of the Italians. Here's Ida. Tonali has been robbed by Knight there, and Knight gets his shot away. Oh, it's just wide of the right-hand post, Jason Knight. He's been busy since he came on because he's drifted in and out both sides of the pitch. He's given them a little problem. Great play again from Moida, strong play. Knight gets onto it, just trying to get out of his feet, onto his left foot, get a strike away, not too far away. He's done really well since he's come on.